Hi folks, so this final video is how to actually host a StreamYard broadcast without going live. So this is like if you want to use StreamYard in the same way as you would use Zoom. You can actually host a meeting inside of StreamYard without actually broadcasting it live to anywhere else. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so we go to the Create Broadcast button. And instead of clicking where you want to broadcast to, you go here where it says skip record only. Pop your title in, testing record only. Press create broadcast. And this is going to take you into the broadcast studio the same way as it would a live stream, except you're not actually going to go live. So you can check that everything is working, that my snowball is working, that my correct webcam is working, that I have my name displayed properly, and then you click enter broadcast zone. But instead of adding a broadcast area, we are on record only. So first things first, you need to add yourself to the stream so that you can see exactly what you look like. If you are going to share your screen then you click the share screen you set up that area um, now so you're going to do an application so i will just do actually let me do um a tab so let's just do this one again we're going to just copy this go to Streamyard. this is on so now you can see what's what's happening you can have one where you're bigger and the screen is smaller that's quite good for presentations you can have just the presentation if you wish remember you can set your background color in the brand area down here you've got the background so if you don't want this black strip you could actually make a light color maybe a white or maybe put that as your brand color any of those sorts of things again if you don't want this to share your screen just come off and then you just click to you and that's you already. So when you want to record, you click the record button up the top right. It's going to say you're live, but you're not actually live because you're not actually going anywhere. So you're just actually recording inside your own area. So you're not actually live anywhere. So even though it says live, that's just saying you're live for your recording. You record like you would normally. So you talk, you speak, you share your screen as you wish. You can make it big. You can make it small, you can make you big and your screen small, whichever way around you want it. Once you're happy, you click end broadcast. So click end broadcast. You can tell StreamYard how it went if you want to. We're not going to do that right now. And now what we do is here, let me just move myself, where it says links. This is where you can download your recording. So when you download your recording, you're gonna click download and you've got a choice of downloading two items. Your whole video recording, including the sound. So you click record and that's going to download your MP4. So that's going to download your whole video, including your sound. If you want to download just the audio, so if you want to repurpose your preloaded video as a podcast you can so let me just pop this into the right area so we'll just do this is where this is going i'm going to click save and it's going to save that video as an mp4 to my computer if i want to save just the audio i click download audio only and it's going to save it where i want it to be saved and it's going to save that as an mp3 which is an audio file so let me just stop my share so that's how you record using StreamYard as a way of pre-recording your videos ready for you to perhaps use on Facebook or on YouTube or actually in a training course as well. Any questions whatsoever about this StreamYard module, please pop them into the Digital Lab Facebook group and I will um, answer them in there. Thanks very much then. Bye.